We're gonna have a party, and the music has picked up upbeat music. Someone's excited. Party, party, party! We're gonna have a party, and we'll party hard, party hard! <laughs> I think I found something! Isn't that a portable stove? No. That's what I used to make my crack. Can't we make a hot pot on it? <laughs> a hot pot? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. Porridge? I've never eaten porridge in my life. So, what do you say? We'll finish it with udon. Fuck him. Nah, fine by me. <laughs> okay, hot pot it is. Hot pot. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Yeah, well, buy with your own money. Oops, you spent all your money. I guess you're going hungry tonight, bitch. We'll take care of the shopping. <laughs> Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. He locks the door. This welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. <laughs> he locks the door. He keeps all the shit. He's like, fuck you. We should go grab that pot <laughs> and set up a stove, too. Amazing. Let's make some meth. Come on, cat. Let's make some meth. Where's the hot pot? What are they talking about? Where's the stove? Was I supposed to borrow a pot from where? Where's the pot? Mm. You catch you guys who's pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. Let's forget about him and focus on having fun. Where's the hot pot? Where the fuck is it? Down here? Borrow a hot pot? I heard you're having hot pot for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. Why is he inquiring about her? She is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask since you're already freeloading. Anyway, I should have a big pot around here somewhere. There's a huge pot of curry. Alright. Looks at the cabinet. Uh, I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, so you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave the, leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? Do, 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 do. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Wait a minute, is that Tastes Makoto? Bland. Whoa, Makoto, Makoto, and Sai are having dinner? Wait a minute. Is Sai... Sai might be her sister then. Maybe... She, I thought she had a younger sister. Apparently not. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. I didn't realize that they, they were they were sisters. Oh, wow. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? Well, there you go. You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, oh. they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Yes. Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. By the way, why is her hair gray when she's young? Was she a, one of those women who sadly gets premature gray? That's messed up. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Hmm. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. 
You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Of course. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. Yes, yes, Jackson Hero, I've had Hot Pot. In fact, when we first moved here to Seattle area, we tried it for the first time, and we've had it maybe one or two other times. So we probably had Hot Pot two to three times. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? <laughs> she doesn't know if she should support them or not. <clears throat> oh, I can't eat another bite. Damn, they had a giant hot pot. Look how big it was. Holy fuck. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. Whoa. <sighs> gonna have to borrow the sofa. Nah. Look at this! He's trying to sneak over there. What's wrong, Yusuke? <laughs> we haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. She was a total bitch! Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Do you have a mole on your left ass cheek like I do? So you tell got me. nothing to lose, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me <laughs> and my mom. The music changed to be like, a, oh, it's the sordid story of Ryuji, baby, yeah. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? Oh, Ryuji, you're a bad son, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <sighs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, <clears throat> she apologized to me. Wow. Being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. <laughs> is this about his past? <clears throat> He's a criminal! A filthy criminal! Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. So he tells them the details about the mad groper that he stopped. Oh, here it is. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told! The hell? Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? 
If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Oh my god! A threat! How dare you! You fell on your own, bitch! Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. Oh, even they know him. Damn, this guy's a really powerful dude. Explain it to the good officer. He's so powerful that local cops know who the hell he is. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. <clears throat> he shoved this gentleman to the ground. Wow, how ungrateful. And this man got injured. What the hell? It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Wow. That's messed up, man. That's really messed up. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. Yeah, and he didn't even do it. He, I mean, he saved the girl from getting beat, and then he got an assault on his record. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? It was pretty dark. Can't remember, huh? <clears throat> Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. Hmm. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. So let me guess, the guy, the bald guy who started all this shit is probably gonna be like the final guy who we need to change his heart, I bet. You're right, Yusuke. <clears throat> That's gotta be what our powers are for. The question is, who the hell is he that he has so much power and influence over the cops, over everyone, right? He had influence over that woman? Really weird. Who could he be? Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. Oh yeah, and remember, he's actually commanding the principal too. He's, he's telling the principal what to do, so who the fuck is You've he? all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, now she wakes sorry. up. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. <laughs> Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? Next your cat. I don't have any <laughs> past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. She's gonna be weird. She's gonna end up being like, just like Teddy, where he's a creature from the other world and is not real or something. Watch. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating the Mentos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. 
Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. <laughs> well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me! Ha-ha! Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Hmm. That's very kind of him. I don't want a roommate. Get out. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? <laughs> you guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. She only said good night to Morgana. That was it. <laughs> Fuck all you three. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Oh, my God. He's, like, voraciously in love with her. What the hell's going on here? <clears throat> what is happening? Uh, now they're in a bathhouse huge together. Bathtubs really <laughs> are the best. On's missing out. Yeah, they're the best. Watch this. <laughs> I love this. It's a bit hot though. I love getting all the filth of other men all over my body in a liquid Old setting. Like it hot for some great. reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's breathtaking. I'm not sure she's a great teammate. She's a great teammate. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Come on. Can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though, is targeting famous people <laughs> enough? By the way, I forgot to tell you two guys, I'm really gay, like uncontrollably gay. So I have a giant boner now because you're both naked here next to me. This is amazing. I love Seeing it. Seeing people's reactions these <laughs> days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? <laughs> First, I'll show them this! <laughs> he gets a boing, yes! I was an idiot for asking. <laughs> I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. <laughs> Hmm. Still. Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? <laughs> I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Alright. Good lord. Nice 20 minute story segment right there. <clears throat> All right, well, before Let's I do, do anything, it. I'm gonna save, obviously. So what day is it now? It's now the 13th, I believe? No, the 11th. Damn, so, uh, actually playing this whole segment, I only advanced like three or four days, because most of it was in Memento, so then there was a few days of actual story. Damn, okay.